It is not by accident that you're watching this broadcast right now. You see, God loves you. He cares about you. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, for that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves you, and he cares about you. He cares about you, and he cares about me. Amen. See, the gospel means good news. Good news that you do not have to go to a lost in, uh, eternity. You do not have to go to hell when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Romans 3, 23, it says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And in Romans 6, 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, the whole world is in a need of a Savior. And so you're watching this right now because you may not know where you will spend eternity. You, you could lay your head on your pillow tonight and it'd be you take your last breath. And if you're not right with the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not spend eternity with him. So this is why we're preaching to you today to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Amen. I remember when I was lost. You know, I was living a life of darkness. I was in a place of my life where I was ready to give up on everything, you know? And I remember when I felt that sweet presence of God. I felt his love, you know? It just it just um, took over my life, you know? And I want you to feel the same love today. I want you to feel the same presence today that I felt when I was lost, when I was running from God. You know, I remember when I had uh, a dream. I had a dream where Satan was dragging me to hell. And I knew in my life that I was close to death. I knew I was living um, a life of darkness. I knew I was doing things that was wrong in the eyes of God, but I still kept running from him. I was running from the first love, you know? And maybe you're watching this broadcast where you can relate to what I'm saying. In this vision, Satan was dragging me to hell. And he had me in the headlock. And right in front of me, I saw the gates of hell. I was on my way to hell in this dream. And then a huge hand came from the sky and grabbed me out of Satan's hand. And I heard a loud voice that said, no, this one is mine. You see, maybe there's people that's watching this broadcast where you've been running from God. And the sweet presence of God is just flooding your, your room right now, wherever you are right now. I want you to know that God loves you and he cares about you. The Bible said that he loves the whole world. For God so loved the whole world. That means you and that means me. He loves us all. That he gave his only begotten son. Amen. 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 And in Romans chapter 10 verse, verses 9 through 10 it says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confess confession is made unto salvation so that means that you have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and you have to believe this with your whole heart and you have to you have to speak it out it's, it's something that happens when we confess that, G, that that we have sinned that we have fallen short of the glory of God and that we believe that Jesus Christ is Lord Amen. that that he died for our sins and that he was raised up on the third day and he's coming back again for us and when you do this you do, you make a you become born again. You, you're translated right. from the kingdom of darkness into the glorious light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Into the kingdom. And so this makes, this is, you, you become born again when you do this. The, the Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come, no one can come to the Father except through him. So that means that you know, there's many roads that lead different ways, but this is the only way that leads to God. Mm -hmm. This is the only way to salvation. Jesus is the only Savior that died 
for our sins. Hallelujah. So he died so that we may live again. Amen. Amen. Jesus, it's not God's will that any shall perish. He wants all of us to call to, 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 to be with him. And that's why God sent his only son into this world. And, and, and he did it with great joy because just, just the thought of you coming into the kingdom, you not having to spend a, an eternity away from God was, is worth it all. Even if it was just for you. Amen. 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 You see, you cannot have the father without having the son, you know, and you must believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, something happens inside, something happens deep inside when you when you get a new heart and your spirit is born again. And that's what we're gonna help you out with today. You're gonna become born again. Amen. Today is gonna be a new day for you. It's gonna be a new, fresh day for you. A new walk with God, amen? Today is the day for salvation. In 2 Corinthians, First, chapter 5 verse 17 therefore if any person is in Christ he is a new creation the old and spiritual condition has passed away behold the fresh and new has come today is your day for a fresh start with God and we're going to help you out with that yes and also not only when you give your heart to Jesus he doesn't just save you but he he heals, he delivers you, and he sets yes. you free from anything that you've been bound by the devil. Um, in Acts 10, um, verse 38, it says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Hallelujah. Jesus did signs, wonders, and miracles on his in his earthly ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that means that when Jesus died on the cross, he died for your sickness, he died for your anything that plagued you, any mental illnesses, any any anything in your body. He died for poverty and lack. He died so that we would be restored completely back to the Father, meaning we would be whole, we would be delivered, we'll be um, prosperous he died for all of those those very things so that we can live an abundant life here on earth amen amen you see the kindness and goodness of god are tended to lead us to repentance and luke 13 verse 3 it says i tell you no but unless you repent you will all likewise perish you know and see so god gave his only son yes so we will not perish and so you must receive Jesus in your heart as the Lord and Savior. You know, in Acts chapter 3 verse 19 says, Repent, therefore be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. And, and he is the Lordship and Headship of every believer. Amen. Um, Acts chapter 2 Verse 36, therefore, let the whole house of Israel recognize beyond all doubt and acknowledge assuredly that God has made him both Lord and Christ, the Messiah, this Jesus whom you've crucified. The Father raised Jesus from the dead and exalted him at his very right hand. And he has given him all power and authority over both good and evil. Amen. And he has given him a name above every name and put all things under his feet. And this is when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, you receive that same power and that same authority. So you're not going to live a powerless life where the enemy is going to continue to beat you up and, and drag you down. But you will now have the power and authority to live a victorious life through Jesus Christ. So we're going to lead you in a prayer. This prayer is going to change everything. This prayer is for, for those who have never received the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. You've never prayed this prayer. You've never asked him to come into your life. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. Amen. This prayer is also for the one who loves the Lord, but the devil has been lying to you, saying that you're not going to make it into heaven. You're going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt today that you are a child of God and that you will make heaven in Jesus' name. And this is also for the one who loves God with all their heart, but they just maybe they've experienced um, a tragedy, death, 
um, loss of a job, or just something that just knocked you out of your walk with God, you will be restored today. So we're going to lead you in a prayer. All right, I want you to, where you are right now, I want you to close your eyes and repeat this after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Wash me. Cleanse me. Lord, I believe that you died for me. And Lord, I believe that you was risen from the dead and you coming back again for me. And right now, I receive you in my heart as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, from this day forth, I start fresh with you. And right now, I ask, Father, that you fill me with your Holy Spirit. Give me a passion for the lost and a boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm saved, I'm born again, and I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen? Amen. I'll tell you right now, if you said this prayer, you are born again. All of your sins have been forgiven. And remember to run to God and not from God. We want you to find a local church that's on fire for Jesus. Yeah. And be in contact with this church and start attending their services. And I guarantee you, I promise you, that your life will never be the same again. Amen? Amen. And if you've prayed that prayer, we want you to comment below and say, Amen, I prayed that prayer. I am a child of God. Comment below. Amen. We love you.